two days ago I was up in Connecticut and I stopped at the international dealer they did their diagnostic and said it was the um it was the relay valve in the back that's causing the foot brake valve in the front to leak and making me lose so much air in such a short time so they didn't have no parts in stock to fix the um fix the issue so i took their the um i took the part number actually they put the part number on the um the diagnostic paper and i took that information and i got the part in brooklyn new york so today we're going to be changing that valve so let me show you my diagnostic paper so you can understand what's going on here so if you see right there it says customer states air leak from valve valve recently replaced so i did replace the valve but down below you see their diagnostic and their solution so they said that um a leak at foot brake so i am getting some air leak from the foot brake and it says the cause is valve in rear of truck be bad and atr6 at the part number brake valve is back feeding so the brake valve so the brake valve is back feeding to the um, foot brake so today we're going to be changing the old one this is a new one here so that's the new one there we're going to change this change the old one and we're going to put on this new one here so let me take you in the engine bay so you can hear the air leak yourself so the air leak is coming from from this right here all right so and that is new that's a new part and it's still leaking so let me take you in the back so you can see the part that's causing the air leak this right here this is what we got to change so this is causing the back back feed to that part that's leaking in the front so we're going to change it back and um i'm going to take this each one i take off i'm going to take this tape wrap it around it and then i'm going to probably write number one on here then the other one i put number two then the next number three and so on and so forth all right so that's my process all right guys before we before we begin back there what i'm about to do is um is pump out all the air out the system so all you got to do is just pump your brakes until your needle goes all the way down all right guys so we're at zero so we're going to start to take off the hoses in the back all right so i just take off one of these connectors so Taking off the other one here, another one. Now I'm gonna take off two and then I mark them with my tape. Make sure you watch your eyes because there's a lot of stuff dropping down. Make sure you're wearing a eye protect eye protection or you stay away from from it. Don't put your face right underneath it. Because you will get stuff in your face. So that's another one, that's the second one. So I'm just gonna use a piece of tape and wrap around these and put number one here and number two here. And then I'm gonna move on to the next. I still got the hose fittings on there. I didn't take off the hose of the fittings because it's much easier that way.
Um, so now I have this small one right here to take off and then I got to take off the electrical wire on the top. So let's take off this small one now. top and get out the electrical wire let's go on top all right so I have to, I just rethink um, I think I'm gonna um, take off the valve first I'm gonna take off the valve oops all right so I'm gonna take off the valve first and then I take off the electrical wire all right, guys, if you look in the valve, look in the hole on the valve, you can see a whole bunch of gunk. So that's probably why this is not functioning correctly. It's all gunked up and, you know, all that oil and moisture um, is preventing it from working the way it's supposed to. Anyway, we're going to unbolt it and then we're going to take off the electrical wire. All right, now we're gonna take a half inch socket and we're gonna unbolt the bracket that's holding the, the valve. Now the package came with a um, new bracket but it didn't came with no um no bolts so we're gonna reuse these bolts She is now now that this is in my reach let's see let's see how to take this off So this is the um, electrical um, wire, right? That go on the valve. As you can see, I had to take the wire out the um, out this uh, for, out this insulation, whatever you want to call it. Right? I had to take the wire out just to look at the wire to see if the the plug where you um connected is in the wire in the um this piece right here but it's not so obviously this is probably the original piece that came with the truck and never been changed and the new one that i just got is shorter so i'm gonna have to reuse this because the plug wherever this goes um over here right 
it's probably I don't know where it's at all right guys so I just want to put these side by side so you can see they're exactly the same but what I'm about to do I'm gonna undo these bolts and I'm gonna put the new bracket on then I'm gonna put back the bolts let me show you the bracket so this is the new bracket so just like how this one is as you can see these are the bolts that came with the um, valve so what they did was unscrew this unscrew these bolts these nuts then put the bracket on and then put back the nut so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna undo these bolts and then we're gonna put the bracket on This is spinning, we gotta get another wrench. That's it. All right, so now I'm gonna take off this old fit in and put on a new one. Um, I recommend you guys change your fit ins. All right, so I got a new one in the vise. Now I'm gonna put on this um, hose fitting on here.
right, so I'm about to put on the valve right now. want to make sure it's in the right spot It's raining out. It's been raining all day. It's not like raining heavy, it's just like drizzles. And it builds up on the truck and it keep dropping in my face. Now, this bolt on this that I'm tightening now, it's like staple. It's like, I mean, not staple, but it's like stamp. So you don't want to go super crazy on it, like tighten it, because that stamp bolt might break loose. I'm just saying, they're going cheap all these days. some Teflon paste on this on these fittings and screw them back up all right guys so I just finished put it on my my first fitting this one is on it's tight now we're gonna do this one this one goes right here when you're doing this make sure you put your arm um, your Teflon paste on here. Um, I had to use something else so the paste wouldn't hold because it's cold outside. Alright, so this one is next. So just want to make sure these are going in the right right place. It's pretty dark outside. But after I'm done this, I'm gonna start it up. Let's see if everything is back to normal. I'm just gonna let you guys see me do this one. And then I do everything else off camera. Because it's gonna be a long process trying to put all of these on. And I don't got the memory on my camera to do that. So just going to do this one right here. Alright. 
all right guys so i'll cut you guys back on when i finish putting all these together all right guys so everything is connected now i'm about to go start up a truck and see if the foot brakes stop leaking let's go start it All right guys, so it's the next morning and um, I'm actually at work because uh, I didn't want to turn on the truck last night at the yard because I live in a residential area. So I'm gonna show you guys the foot brake valve, show you that it did stop leaking. Get the clip to open because of right, let's go around the other side. See that? No more leaks. So changing that part in the back did fix the one in the front. So in the future, you know, if you guys have a leak from here, it doesn't necessarily mean that this needs to change. It might be the valve in the back that I changed earlier is causing this to leak. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a best one.